and it's Emily with my buddy Blix. And today we're going to open his April 2017 Bark Box. This is the large size. I also received the small, so go ahead and check that video out after this. Um, now, I did some investigating, so those of you that have seen the small box, I found out um, what happened there, why we got a different theme than others. But let's open his, see what his theme is, and then we can talk about that. So for those of you that don't know what a bark box is, it's a monthly subscription box for your pet. It's an auto-renewing type box. Um, you can subscribe month to month, uh, three months, six months, or 12 months. And I also have a referral link, which I'll put down in the comments below. And depending on what promotion they're currently running, you can receive your first box for free, a dollar, or even five dollars. Um, I pay twenty dollars a month because I do receive this for the full year. It renews every October, and we've been receiving it for a couple of years. Now Blix is a standard poodle. He's five years old, <laughs> and he's really enthused about his box. Huh, you ready? You ready to open your box? He'll get excited once we squeak the toys. Okay, so let's take a look. Now, I already know this is the same theme that I got for my in my small dog box. New York City. Now, the normal theme for April is throwback um, 90s style or something like that. But um, when you call the company to tell them that you didn't receive the throwback box and you got the New York box, it's because they actually ran out of enough things to include in <clears throat> the 90s throwback box. So they did go through and look at your account and make sure you hadn't already received um, the New York City box, and we hadn't, so that was okay. Um, so we're seeing it, well, I've seen it before because others have opened it, but um, we haven't got any of we haven't got any of the items in the New York box before. Okay, so New York City's the theme of this box. If you didn't get the throwback '90s style box, um, these are stickers, and it shows a few of the toys that you are able to get. So the first toy we got is the Statue of Liberty ball. And he is going to take, let me pull off the tag bun. There you go. It's really big. Oh, you have to hold it by the crown part. Um, this is made by BarkBox. Oops. I have my camera set up different than normal. Okay, and um, I have my small box here, so I'm going to grab that and show you. We got the same thing in the small box, just um, a smaller version of that. Okay, and each bark box contains two toys, two types of treats, and one sort of chew. So our second toy is this Chinese takeout box. And inside, it has a giant dumpling. So we're just going to give him the dumpling out of the box. And then there's the Chinese takeout box. Now in the small box we got the same thing, but this one has three small dumplings in it. Okay, now for the treat, the best treats ever. This is the same thing that we got in the small dog box. 98% of dogs agree, and the other 2% are filthy liars. This is duck and turkey strips. We're going to open that. Whoop. Oh, these are discs, I guess, not strips. Sorry, I must have read that wrong. So they are a little round. Duck and turkey. He likes those. Okay, and the other treat we got is by Rocco and Roxy. These are jerky, sti jerky sticks for dogs. Um, all of the Bark Buck treats are manufactured and made in the USA, so that's always good, safer. So we'll go ahead and this is kind of has an interesting 
pull tab. We'll see if it really works. Hey, look at that. And it has a resillable pouch. These look similar to pepperonis, which I would never feed my dogs because they're not a very high quality treat. And I like that it seals back up. Um, did I tell you what the flavor was? Let's see. Seven inch tender healthy beef treats for dogs. Slow roasted and naturally smoked. No wheat, soy, corn, or gluten. And there's seven strips in the bag. Okay, so those were the two treats. Now for our chew. We have a butcher's block esophagus. Um, it's a natural source of glucosamine and chondroitin, so it's really good for their joints. And I won't give that to him now because it does kind of make a mess. So I will either make him eat it on a blanket or outside. So. Okay, so let's recap. So we got the Chinese dumpling. I'll give that back to him if he wants it. Yeah. And the Statue of Liberty ball. And one thing that's nice about Blix is he's real nice with his toys. He doesn't tear them up or anything. So we do have a lot of toys. But I oftentimes, if if they never get um, used, I will give them away to neighbors and things like that. So, But he has certain ones that he really likes and he packs them around. And then the two treats, the turkey treats and the beef jerky sticks. And then the esophagus. Now, like I said, this was April 2017, but this may not be the box you receive. You may receive the 1990 throwback theme. Because for some reason, they did not have enough supply. So some of us got the New York City theme. So, And I will be opening also the Pet Treater and the Wiggle Butt box. If you can see them here, they've also came in the mail. Um, with my other pugs so check out my other videos on those and let me know if you like this video by leaving a thumbs up or a comment let me know what your favorite thing in the box was so until next time <laughs> we'll see you later say bye Blix mm -hmm. <laughs>